Hey Aquarius, welcome to your bonus reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is Pretty Intuitive, back with another one. This is for the energies in the beginning of January. All right, let's look at your love life. Let's see what is coming to you. This is a bonus. So I will pull some channel messages, okay? And I'm probably going to have to pull charms this time because I don't know where the freak my daughter put um, my little cube that I had. And it's really really sucks but i don't know where it's at okay so let's let's check it out okay aquarius what is coming to aquarius in love what is coming to aquarius in love please hit that like button for me uh if you find this reading coming to Aquarius in love Aquarius messages for Aquarius in love Aquarius you have new love okay um, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings Aries did pull that so you could be dealing with a with an Aries who's coming to Aquarius in love okay now <clears throat> I always tell people you know this could be a new person a brand new person or it could be someone that you already know and it's talking about a new beginning in love overall with the both of you okay but we do have a soulmate and religious factors yes this is your soulmate true love is at the bottom of the deck what's coming to aquarius in love please aquarius coming to Aquarius in love Aquarius Aquarius in love what is coming Aquarius you do have these seven of pentacles I feel like um some of you could be a little bit maybe experiencing a little bit of a trust issue okay within the situation we'll find out why but um you're wondering if the juice is worth the squeeze for some of you okay what's coming to aquarius in love aquarius you're wondering if the juice is worth the squeeze you have the eight of pentacles and a seven so i'm getting like okay so if i put in the effort if i put in the work or if i wait on this situation you know, is it going to be worth it? Am I going to, you know, is this a high risk, low reward type of thing? Okay, you could be dealing with an earth sign. What's coming to Aquarius in love, please? Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so this situation is going to require uh, your patience, uh, Aquarius, okay? Because you may feel like things are moving a little slow, okay? Um, whatever you're wanting from the situation or the person. Some of you I'm getting, maybe you could be focused on your finances right now, okay? So whoever you're dealing with is going to have to, you know, understand that. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. All right, you do have the Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Wands, Hierophant. Yeah, so I'm getting that you definitely want a commitment from this particular person. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also Leo. Okay, don't just get discouraged if I didn't say the sign you're dealing with. These are just the strong signs that I'm seeing coming out here. Um, but you're definitely wanting a commitment. And I feel like the person in question definitely wants one with you as well, Aquarius. So, I mean, that's definitely out of the question. Some of you, you're currently dating this person or you will be dating this particular person. Some of you, you may know this person from work, from school. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm getting something about finances being important here. <clears throat> 
for somebody. So this is someone who is looking at commitment with you. They do want it with you, Aquarius. That is something that they are passionate about. But at the same time, it feels like they don't want to rush into that or they don't want to, you know, um, there could be another factor in their life. Like I said, finances, career, work, long distance. Um, some of you could be religious factors even as well. Okay. So I'm getting if you want more than friends with somebody and you're just dating this person right now, you just, you want more than that. They are looking at you for more than that. But I feel like there's another situation that you're going to have to take into account. Okay. That's what I feel like the cards are saying. And what that situation is different for all of you. Um, I'm not going to say someone's in a relationship or there's a third party. There's a third party for sure, but doesn't third party doesn't always mean a person. It could mean um, a situation, okay, or a circumstance, okay? Take it how it resonates. But if you know, okay, yeah, this person is married or this person isn't involved or some shit like that, well, you're going to have to take that into consideration when wondering if this is, if the juice is worth squeezed. So I'm kind of getting like, are you willing to be patient while this person works on themselves or works on their life or something? Um, are you willing to wait on that? Are you willing to be patient while this person figures their situation out? If it is third party, okay? Um, because I do feel like bottom line, this is someone Aquarius, like I said, who does want commitment with you okay it's not like they don't it's not like they don't some of you i'm getting you're in a relationship and you want marriage you want an engagement you want okay and that is something that they also want you could be dealing with a cancer okay we do have queen of cups here but again it, it just comes down to just being patient um now, if you've been dealing with this person for a long time and they still haven't bust the move yet, well, then obviously you could be potentially wasting your time because, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, they are committal. You know, they have a vision. They do want commitment in their life. They want all these things. But at the same time, the, it's ruled by the Pentacle suit. So this person's always concerned with, you know, their money as well, their money, their career, their self-development, first and foremost. And, you know... They don't move quick at all. So maybe things are not moving along as quickly as you want it to. Okay. But that's not to say that it won't. Okay. Because you do have commitment cards here, Aquarius. You know, this person sees it with you. Okay. They want that. They do. So, and it, you know, this person is dedicated to you. They do feel loyal to you, okay? But at the same time, because you have all these pentacles, I think there is definitely something else to be considered in the situation, okay? But I do get, like, this antsy feeling from you, Aquarius. Like, look, what do you want? Like, what are you going to do? What are we going to do here? Like, are you serious or not? Okay. You do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations showing up here. But I mean, like I said, I would definitely say that this is someone who wants it with you. Now, if this is not a relationship and you're just dating each other, you're just you're going to have to be patient because the Knight of Pentacles is going to move pretty slow. Okay? But the thing is, they're dedicated to you and they do want a future with you. They're serious, but... Their career, their work, you know, could be getting in the way. Their religion or something like that. What's coming to Aquarius and love? Tell me more. So, yeah, Temperance is suggesting that. Could be known as Sagittarius, but it's suggesting that there's a need to be patient. There's a need for understanding, moderation. Okay? You do have the Page of Wands. I feel like you and this person have amazing chemistry. You guys have a really good foundation, or you will, okay? Um, 
I think everything else is definitely there. I think their feelings for you are surely there. I think they're very passionate about you, Aquarius. You know, I, I feel like this person could definitely see you and them settling down together and having everything. But now, you see, look, King and the Queen of Wands showing up. But now it's like, it's more of a question of, are you willing to be patient, though? Okay, that's the question. Home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. It does feel like this is someone who wants to settle down with you and have a home, a family, and all these things, marriage. I'm getting someone's life circumstances could be problematic as well, okay? Or maybe someone's still developing them, their career, okay? You do have divine timing, waiting, and you also have relationship. Some of you, maybe you just want a relationship with this person. And it feels like, yes, they do want a relationship with you as well, Aquarius. That is no doubt. Okay? I would just say go with the flow and trust the process, Aquarius. That's the, that's the main thing Spirit wants you to know. Is that you should be going with the flow and trusting the process, okay? Now, if you can't, I, you know, I can't tell you what to do. If you don't want, then you just don't want Okay, but I feel like this person does have higher plans for you, Aquarius. Look, you have let's get married. Okay, someone is scared of this. This could be picking up from your energy or their energy. You also have let's start a relationship. So they do want a relationship with you. Best I ever had. You have please answer the phone. Constant dreams of you. Okay. Planning to text or call. They often fantasize about you. And I'm also getting, they, you know, this freak fantasizes about a life with you. Okay. You have falling for you. This person's falling for you. Please don't leave. So they don't want you to leave. They want you to be patient with them. If they do have a third party Aquarius, I'm getting this freak does want to leave them. But finances and money, stuff like that can be in the way. Okay, or maybe they still need to get divorced. Okay, but it feels like that's something they really, really want to do. But they just hope that you're patient with them. You give me butterflies. I, I need to heal. Please be patient. Okay. Let me get four more for Aquarius. Yeah, some of you, there's a third party, but they don't want that freight. Okay. You also have leave them for me. So maybe they want you to leave someone for them. They do want to explore this connection. I knew from the first meeting, you are the one. And I love you. Okay. Hi, right, Aquarius. So that is what we got. Let's pull some charms. Who is this person for Aquarius, please? Who is this person for Aquarius? I'm sorry if you guys hear my daughter in the background. They're not in school yet, so. All right. So we have a Hamza. This is definitely a spiritual connection. You have some perfume here. Perfume is a peace symbol. The number five is significant. This could be a Gemini. This can also be a Taurus. Okay, you have sunglasses here. Uh, tennis. This person could be like athletic or sporty. You have a bike here. This is person for Aquarius. Whenever I see this little tiger, I do think of a, uh, this could be Leo. You have music. There's a sun here. And look at that, the little rainbow came out. So that's a sign. Like, this is like the Ten of Cups. They do see a future with you, Aquarius. And you don't even notice that, do you? It may not look like that, but they do. Okay. You have Capricorn. It says happy birthday on it. So like a cake. Cake, cake, cake. This could definitely be someone who's into music or something like that. There he is. Okay. You have Leo and you also have Cancer. Okay. So Aquarius, I hope this reading helped you, my darlings. Thank you for being here with me. And I will definitely talk to you guys very, very soon. If you liked these this reading please do not um 
forget to hit that like button for me, Aquarius. Okay. Do not forget to hit that like button for me. Okay. Thank you for being here with me and I will talk to you guys soon.